you go, this isn't going to work out very well. I need to do a podcast. Hey, don't, don't. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the Knitting Expat podcast. This is episode, I think, 145, part two. I might be wrong. I will correct it on the screen if it's the wrong number. My name is Mina. Today is Saturday, the 12th of October. And um, I am back with part two of this podcast. This is the spinning part of the podcast. Uh, because it had been so long since I last recorded, I realised it was just going to be too long if I had everything in one episode. So I decided to split it up. I don't have any current works in progress on my spinning at the moment. Sorry, Hugo is currently wanting a lot of attention because he hears me talking to myself and he thinks I'm lonely or going slightly crazy <laughs> talking to myself. Um, Anyway, yes, so I haven't actually been doing that much spinning lately because uh, this last few days, last week or so, actually the last two weeks, I've just been really focused on getting a lot of knitting projects finished and designs and stuff finalised. And then this last week, I don't know what happened, I woke up one morning and my knee was really sore. And I think I must have just slept on it funny or done something to it, I, I have no idea what. But um, my knee's been very sore, so I've been avoiding spinning to avoid making it worse especially because I'm going to be in New York next week and there's going to be a lot of walking involved and I just don't want to aggravate my knee any more than I need to before I go away. So um, I thought I would just, but I do still have a fair number of skeins to share with you for spinning. So why don't we just jump right in? Hey? Yeah? Okay. So this one I actually already showed you before, but I finally washed it and thwacked it and it is now finished. This is um some polworth fiber by easy knits in the golden colorway which i spun up it's 115 grams total i got 380 yards or 347 meters and i'd say it's about the sport weight sport to dk-ish weight and i kept it as a single ply because i wanted to give that a go and i really like how it turned out and i think i fold it correctly it seems fairly strong for a single ply like it's holding together quite nicely doesn't sort of pull apart when I tug on it so I feel like I did okay with this one I guess we'll see I, I need to practice a bit more with single ply but I thought that was really fun um I then spun up I don't actually know if I, this is not the right order but I also spun up this skein it's actually two skeins twisted together it was a gradient um fiber that I dyed um it was a Poldale nylon blend so it was intended to be socks but I didn't spin it thick enough it's come out more of a DK worsted weight thickness but there's two skeins in here anyway so I will um, I haven't taken final measurements but I'm pretty sure this is definitely not a um, sock weight kind of yarn but I'm thinking I might still knit socks with them but sort of like slipper socks like house socks and um, work them toe up to make the most of the yardage that I do have um, I then have this poofy skein of yarn that I spun up from some John Arvin textiles um, top this is 100% Corydale, I think, and it is in the, I think the colorway name is called Black Gold of the Sun. Um, so it's a really lovely sort of really dark green base with all these other colors running through it. And again, I haven't taken final measurements of this one, but it's come out like a DK weight. And I really, really love how squishy the skein is. Um, <clears throat> and then we did some fun experimentations. I did a fun sort of like, because I got a jumbo flyer for my spinning wheel for my birthday, I wanted to have some fun with some art yarn practice and I really like how this one came out. Um, definitely not perfect, there's some spots here which are a bit not great, but it's really fun to practice nonetheless. These are just some relags that I had lying around from the shepherd's hut. Um, and then I had two sets of Rolags that I'd made up that I decided not to put in the shop and I wanted to play around with myself. So I spun those up as well to play around with. I think this top one was out of some fibre that I dyed myself that I then blended with some sari silk. I can't remember now to be quite honest. Hugo, you're not being very helpful. You stay there. Um, yeah really like how this one turned out and the other one is these neutrals with um some silk oil in there as well for texture i think i spun this mainly long draw i was practicing um 
yeah and then finally i had um a little sample bit of merino soy soy fiber to play around with and i dyed this orange and I, so i just spun this the other day i spun it fairly fine it's come out a pretty decent fingering weight i haven't washed it yet to see if it puffs up at all but um so far it's a very decent sort of fingering weight thickness and yeah so that's what i've been spinning the other day uh, when Layla was at home we sat down to make Rolags together which was really really fun and there's a little video of that on the YouTube channel which you can check out I think it's like one or two videos back um, so I just have them stuck on my blending board so I can show them to you nicely so these three are the ones that I made with Layla so what we did was I um, grabbed a bag of fiber bits that I have and I just poured it out on the table and I asked her to pick all the colors that she wanted to use of course she picked all the red ones but then she picked a bunch of other colors as well and so then we um, I got her to tell me what order we were putting them on the board so she picked them out and we put them we like lashed them onto the board and brushed them down and she was helping me every step of the way as you'll see in the video if you watch it and um, and yeah and then we rolled them off and she helped with that and then she was so excited she put them in a little like carrier bag thingy and walked off with it which is like these are mine now I'm like okay and then I managed to get them off her later to take some photos and um then after she'd gone to bed I hadn't like tidied up the fiber or anything so it's still out on the table so I used the exact same colors and I tried to do them in the exact same order that I remember her doing them but I made these three Rolex to kind of go with it now you can't see as much green in these ones but there is green in them the same as there are in this it's just obviously the way the placement and the way it's worked out um so yeah it's a really like a really fun sort of matching real leg set that Layla designed essentially which is crazy because she's two and a half and I never would have thought to put all these colors together in Rolex but it looks great I'm really excited to see what this looks like as yarn so who knows maybe if I have some time this weekend and um I feel like my knee is up for it then I might spin these before I go away otherwise it'll be one of the first things I spin when I get back and the only other spinning thing I have to talk to you guys about is a little acquisition and I what was it one sort of fiber dye that I've really liked seeing their work and but have never really been able to purchase from is Ingle Nook fiber fibers mainly because they're based in the US and also their updates sell out really really quickly so I've not really been able to purchase from them before but I went onto their Ravelry page and they have like an a destash destash thread on their Ravelry page. And there was someone in the UK that was destashing some of their Ingle Nook um, fibers. So I messaged them and I was like, if these are still for sale, I will gladly take them off your hands. Because then I also wouldn't have to worry about like ink, um, import charges and stuff because it's already in the UK. So I got this skein of the skein, this braid of yellow. It's really Quite bright not maybe not quite so fluorescent as it's looking on camera um there we go and this is from their natural dye series dyes used is weld it's 4.7 ounces it's a bat and a braid um prep it's 40 percent superwash merino 40 percent merino 20 percent tussle silk and it is so soft and poofy and i just this is going to be so lovely to spin i can just tell and so that's a really lovely braid and then i also got from her um one of these stickle bat sets and so this is again part of the natural dye series in the meadow buttercup set it's 3.4 ounces in this one and whoop, get them all together these are the colors look how pretty they are definitely a little bit more pastel than i normally go for but i really like these colors together and i thought it would work so well with this as like a corresponding skein so yeah i just thought these would work so nicely together and um i've always wanted to try their fiber so i thought why not this seemed like a really good opportunity and uh yeah really happy with these i did however <laughs> treat myself the Inglenook fiberworks they had a um 12 days of Christmas advent calendar now I've actually already purchased myself a fiber advent calendar 
um, from Fellview Fibres in the UK. And um, so that's a traditional like 24 days one. Um, but the Inglenook Fibre Works one is a uh, 12 days of Christmas, so it's only 12. Um, but I decided with that one, I, I purchased it. I'll explain that story in a minute. I purchased it, but then I decided I was going to, I'm going to save that and that's going to be like a Christmas present to myself. I'm not going to open that as an advent. I'm just going to save them and open them all on Christmas day. Um, as like a present to myself rather than as a advent calendar. Um, but what happened with that was they actually did something a bit different this year with their update for the advent calendars and they sort of spread it out over a few days and each day they uploaded it at a different time which I thought was really clever and then after the last one they were also going to do kind of like a lottery system for a few spots as well and so I was checking back in the Ravelry group and I realized I'd missed pretty much every update but the last one I checked when I checked in it was about an hour or so after the last update had happened and I saw someone had posted in the threads that there were still a couple of um, calendars left. So I popped on the website and lo and behold, there were still, there was, they were still in stock. So I, on a whim, <laughs> went ahead and purchased one. And then I was like, okay then. <laughs> so that's now happening. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to that. And like I said, it's a nice little Christmas present to myself. I'm probably gonna have to pay customs for it, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, looking forward to that. Um, and that's pretty much it. I don't have much else to share with regards to spinning. This segment is going to be pretty small, I guess. But, um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy spinning and I will be back soon. I guess after I'm back, hopefully I will be able to sit down and record another video for you guys. Um, in the meantime, there will be the Rhineback vlogs or New York and Rhineback vlogs that will be going up over the next week or so whilst I'm traveling and um and yeah I'll see you guys again soon take care bye